Um, the basics of you know, the initial, what we're trying to do is, as we spoke yesterday morning, was um, you have, whenever the ball is hit to a certain place, there is a line of the ball, okay? And that goes for infinity, both ways, for around the globe, whatever you want to call it, okay? And with that line of the ball, you have what's called a right of way. Does anyone know how wide that right of way is? Perfect. On how close you are to the ball. No, no. Because if you get too close, all you've done is crowd yourself on your own right of way. It's like driving in the car out here and you get right up against the white line and the car's coming the other way. They're all getting, they're all like beeping the horn and flashing their lights at you. Move over, give yourself space, then you've got your ball. Now the, so, so the right of way is from the ball back five feet, not from the horse five feet? No, it's from the tip of your outside stirrup. So my drawing is horrendous, otherwise I would draw a horse and a stirrup. But it's literally, if this was the outside of your stirrup, and then you've got a horse to sort of there, and then you've got the area where your swing comes down to hit the ball. Okay, so the horse so, is actually included inside that five feet. Right? Exactly. Oh, it's so it's, it's your stirrup. vehicle. It's your left stirrup. Right, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, because if you think to yourself, it's exactly the same as what I was saying out there with the car. You're driving down a two-lane road. How, why do they make the roads the, as wide as they are? Because they're the perfect width for a car or yeah, a truck to fit yeah. in. And there's enough room where if you've got a little bit of play. It's not the same as what we're doing because we've got a much bigger area and, a, and it's, a, it's a contact sport. Luckily, driving's not a contact sport. <laughs> so, exactly. So, this five feet is from the tip of your left stirrup to where you need to hit the ball. Yep. Everyone, it's only come about in the last four or five years that they've made an actual Measure. measurement. Because it's always been umpire discretion, blah, 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 yeah? Um, and by umpire's discretion, that literally means that, you know, people say, how far ahead can I go, and cross, uh, go ahead and cross the ball? You know, cross that line to get the ball. Well, it depends on the speed. Uh, it depends on, you know, the quality of the ground, how the horses are going, you know, the level of the tournament. There's so many things. So it comes down to umpire discretion. You can't say that it's 28.6 metres that you're allowed to go across every time because it's not at full speed 28.6 meters feels like it's about that far but at a slow speed 28.6 meters feels like it's you know whatever so the minute that the ball hits something or takes a deflection off the boards or off a horse there is a new line of the ball straight away what you have to enable them what you have to uh, allow is if someone's coming down the line and there's a deflection off your horse so you're sitting here waiting for a play the ball comes down bounces off your horse and goes there you're allowed to go to that ball but you just have to check that there's someone not coming down that old line that you just turn quickly in front of because they can't just vanish they can't disappear they can't lift their horse up and you know morph themselves into something else and move so you have to just have a quick look no one coming right i'm ready to go to that ball that is now the new line of the ball. And with that, you're five feet again, and away you go. If you fail to do that, is it a penalty against penalty you? Penalty against you. Where does that penalty go? Well, on the field, have you guys, do you know much about the setup of the polo field? Yes, yeah, so size, and, but have you had a look at the marks on the polo field? Do any, do any of you know about that? Okay, righto. So are you guys around today and tomorrow? Yeah. So you're gonna watch, yeah, if you can come out and watch some of the better polo, it's really quite good to watch. So I'll just do a very rudimentary polo field here for you. Have they got the line markings on today? Yes, have definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely will have. So you've got your goalposts at each end, and then in the middle or somewhere along the, there, they'll have your throw-ins, your throw-in areas. There'll be a spot in the middle of the field or a tee sometimes. And then out from each goal line, you'll have... At 30, 40, and 60 yards, you will have marks on the field. Normally at the 30, there's a line, then there's a cross at the 40, and then a line. 30, 40, 60. And over on the boards, they'll have the marks as well, okay? So that you can see where you're at. Okay? So that's how your polar field is marked out. Now your question was, if you were to turn and you get yourself in trouble, you have a foul called against you. Where does the umpire, the two umpires, where do they decide to then put the ball? Depending on the seriousness of the foul. Perfect. A couple of other things. Where you are in relation to the Where you are. One other thing. 
So the seriousness, where you are, and there's that one as well. But that's yeah. Mainly, it is whether you're attacking or defending. So if you're already attacking this end of the field, Christian's running down. Ramazan's gone across and fouled him. It's the first time he's done it. First play of the chucker. He's here. The ball will go down to the next mark. It wasn't a severe foul. It was just, sorry, made a mistake. It goes down to what's called a 60-yard hit, which is the, this one here. And that's 60 yards from that line to there. Yeah. So, yeah, we'll get into that as well. Yeah. So, I'm just talking to you about here about where the umpire can move the ball, right? Yeah. So, in the next chucker, Brooke's going along. She's about to make a backhand. She's going this way. She's about to make a backhand. And Kath has accidentally foul hooked her. So you get the spot hit here because it's not dangerous. You weren't attacking and you weren't, uh, you know, you were in no position to receive any advantage or you weren't getting disadvantaged. So you'll only just have a spot hit where the foul occurred. Right. So the umpires can just go and go, spot hit to Brooke, bang. That's where the ball pops down. And then you guys get to hit off from there. Your team tees up the ball and the opposition team can't be 30 yards away until the ball is hit or hit out. Okay? Now, 30 yards is a very big, like it's a number that's used a lot in our sport. 30 yards allows you to get out uh, for, for uh, like on a knock-in, for example, the opposition is not allowed to be closer than 30 yards. On a spot hit, they have to be 30 yards away. On a hit from the middle, 30 yards away. On a 60-yarder, 30 yards away. So that 30 yards is very important. So it's good to sort of get a gauge on how far that is, and then you go, <coughs> go from there. Yes, so for example, you might have straight from the throw-in, someone's made a little foul in there, bang, you get a hit from the middle. Or you go <coughs> we talked about Christian getting fouled here and going to a 60, he's fouled here, it goes to halfway. Um, two questions, is it always in the middle of the field? Predominantly in the middle, but if you get a spot hit, it can be anywhere. And it's something like Polo in the City, which is a yes. drunken sized field, uh, do they just shrink down the markings or do they have fewer of them? There's fewer of them, and it's for, we change a lot of the rules. We go the same way until half time. Um, we just change it around because we want it to be easy to understand. It's an experience I've had with the live holidays. Yeah, so. perfect. No, but that, that makes sense. And so it's a smaller field, and we don't have all of these marks. We still have the ones in the middle, but we don't have these. I think we only have one mark down here, and we use a different ball, blah, blah, blah. So, um, so that's a little bit about the actual setup of the field. So you guys now understand this is 30 yards from there, this cross is 40 yards from there, and this one here is 60 yards from there. So you'll often hear us say, that's a 60 yarder to blue, that's a 40 yarder to black. You know, it's a penalty two, 30 yard hit in favor of white. So a penalty four is a 60 yard hit, a penalty three is a 40 yard hit, and a penalty two is a 30 yard hit. All right, so there's two, three, and four. Right? Penalty one, everyone asks about, that's a pretty bad one. Penalty one is when someone has made a deliberate and or dangerous foul in the vicinity of the goal mouth to save a goal. Okay, so someone's about to score, they've come in, crash. It's dangerous and deliberate. Sometimes not both, but it doesn't have to be both. Um, and you will then get given a goal on the scoreboard. So straight away they go, penalty one. The flag waver waves his flag so that the scorer knows that it's a goal. Then you have a throw in, still going the same way. It's the only time where you keep going the same way and you get a chance to score twice. So you have to be very careful with those. So penalty one is a dangerous penalty in the vicinity of the goal mouth. Dangerous and deliberate. Penalty two is a 30 yarder, which is this one. Penalty three is a 40 yarder. Penalty four is a 60 yarder. Penalty five, now there's two um, penalties in a penalty five. There's a 5A and a 5B. 5A is the spot out in the middle of anywhere. 5B is from the middle. Then you keep going. There's a penalty six is when you hit the ball over your own back line, which you're not allowed to do. That then becomes a hit from the 60-yard line for the opposition. Even if you accidentally hit it over the back line? That's the way it is. So you go to do a backhand, comes off your horse's foot and goes over the back line, it's a penalty against you. You do a backhand, comes off the boards, goes over, that's a penalty against you. Off the goal post, it's against you. But if it comes off anything else, umpire or any other player, it's not deemed a penalty. But if you've hit it over, accidentally or not, 
or if it's come off your horse or one of the, you know, the boards or the, the goalposts, it's still a penalty against you. Then the opposition get a hit from the 60-yard line to hit the ball over. Uh, question, if it's a defensive penalty and it's from the spot of the foul, yes. uh, how's that called? The umpires will just blow the whistle, the clock will stop, and they will just say penalty on the spot to so it doesn't have red. No, they don't, they don't normally say a penalty 5A, they just say penalty on the spot. Or then a penalty from the middle, or a 5B they sometimes say, 5B or middle, and then the other ones are, you often hear them say 4 or 60, 3 or 40, 2 or 30. So penalty 2, penalty 3, penalty 4, or 60, 40, 30. So. Um, any questions? Does that all make sense? Or is it like watching yeah. a foreign film without yeah. subtitles? Linking them. Um, Good. Crossing over the, the line. Good. This is what I was going to get to. So, I want to leave this here because I'm actually quite proud of that little drawing because I'm not very good at drawing. Um, I want you guys to tell me from your limited experience, I am travelling this way. Okay? I've hit the ball to there. What are the ways that you can take the ball off me? We're, we're Ride me off. From which side? On the non-ball, non-hitting side. Okay. So, Brooke's coming in here. You're going to come in on here, is that right? Yeah. So, going with me? Yes. So, Brooke comes in here. She Whoops. Right off the side. Well done. Yeah. Right, so that's number one. Brooke's coming on this side, and you're going to push me off so that we go across and either ride over the ball and I don't get a play, or we're going to go this side of the ball and you're going to get a backhand. Good call. Or a forehand if you're going forward to goal. Excellent. That's number one. What was yours? You can ride off from the other side. Perfect. So you can also ride off from this side. As long as they haven't started to swing. Is that right? Excellent. You have been reading up, Brooke. I'm impressed. Oh, well, I just know that I get in trouble for that. <laughs> are, you yes. to, are you allowed to cross the line to ride someone off? From yes. No, they as long as Hello, Les. How are you, darling? My time wrong. I thought it was 10.30. You're all right. I've just been doing some pretty pictures. All right. How'd you pull up? How'd you pull up after yesterday? Okay, how'd you feel? Oh yeah, no, I'm feeling alright. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Didn't beast you too much? No, no, no. Damn. <laughs> That's right. Look out today. Try hard. Yeah. So we're just going through. We've just done the line of the ball right of way, okay, which is the right. width. Just done a quick, uh, very rough diagram of a polo field and the different marks that are on the field and what they mean. Okay. Do you know about the penalty two, three, and four? Yes. So what's a penalty three? A uh, penalty. Well, okay. Let me think. <laughs> Penalty one is down there. Penalty three is at the 30 yards. 40. Very good. Penalty two, 30. Penalty three, 40. Penalty four, 60. Yes. But very good. Okay. So what we're going on here is, this is me, and I've hit the ball to there. And I've just asked everyone to give me an idea of, is that shining? Is that light a bit bright coming on there? It's no, it's okay. okay. I'll, I'll just adjust. Okay. So I'm trying to work out the different ways that the ball can be taken off me. So okay. Brooks come in and rid me off on this side. Cats come and rid me off on this side. That's two different ways. What else? You can ride down the other side as long as you're on the So, yeah, you show me. If you're riding down that way. Okay, come in this way. On. So what's that one called? I don't know. Is it like a challenge? Challenge is a good word, but the actual word in polo is meeting. Jousting. Jousting. <laughs> Stewie was doing a bit of that yesterday. So that's meeting the ball. Now, does anyone know the criteria for meeting the ball? You have to stay on your side of the... Yes, and you must have established yourself long enough on that line and stay on that line in order to meet. You can't have come just here and gone around like that because you've crossed the line to get there. If you've done it way up here, out of the way, and got onto the line. You've established yourself for long enough. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, it does in theory, but I've got in trouble. Sorry, I've got in trouble for doing this before. I think, but I'm just not quite sure. Sure. Obviously, haven't been thrown up in front. Yeah, but I don't. I, do I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I just like I don't. to turn in front of people. This is yeah. that horrible well, umpire I discretion. I don't thing. understand it sometimes. That <coughs> pulled me up. I thought, you know what? I thought I've just challenged it. Sorry, Matt. Um, yeah, challenge me, same thing. Um, yeah, but what would have happened by the sound of it is you've come. Even if you've come, so there's the line going there. Even if you've come from there. Half a foot on the wrong side, yeah. you're wrong. I think if it you... was because I was in front of the horse and sort of just went around like that. It came up yeah. and grabbed the ball. <laughs> okay, so we've done meeting. Okay. <laughs> so we've done riding off on the left, riding off on the right, meeting. 
<clears throat> How else can you stop me getting that ball? Hook. Hooking. Cass is all over this today. She's got three of them. What else? So can you explain hooking? Oh, sh sorry, mate. Okay, so well, we will do that outside. But um, we all have to play right-handed. Okay, so we have our mallet here. Coffee cup is the ball. I'm about to hit the ball. You can come and hook me from that side. You can only hook on the same side as the ball. So you can't be on this side of me and reach under so or reach over. Split. Yes, you would be over there, exactly like we are, and you'd have to put your stick over onto the near side and hook my stick here. And we'll practice that out here in a minute. So just right, when you're riding someone off on, <coughs> and you're on their offside. So you're the on their is, offside, yes. Yeah, so you're here. Yep. yep. So they, the rule is they can't have begun to swung the ball. So strictly Correct. speaking, is there a distance sort of element no. involved at Unfortunately, all? once again, if they get ready late to swing, you can ride them off right at the last minute. Someone's getting prepared early. But if they're only in their preparation thing, yeah. you can still come and meet them if the ball's a long way off. If the ball's right there, oh, you you've just got a hook. Yeah. Okay. yeah, but you're so better off. be faking to come up to... Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but yeah, if yeah. that's the case, just go near side and hit the ball. Don't worry about the right off. Yeah, okay, just to play the Because then you take out the opportunity of a foul. Yeah. Don't yeah, worry yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay. So, we've done riding off left, riding off right, meeting and hooking. You cool with the hooking? Uh, Happy with that? So, so, can you cross the line if you're hooking? Or do you no, you don't, no, because that'll end up being, if you've hooked the guy, like, so if the ball, by the time we get to the ball, we're both beside it, if you hook it and then you come over the line afterwards, it could still be deemed a foul. You really have to remember where that ball's come from. So this side of this couch is where the line of the ball is. I'm you, coming in to hook. I hook and I keep my horse this side of the line. Don't hook it and then go across the line because you'll get in trouble. Okay, really, really concentrate when we're out there today on where that ball has come from. Am I allowed to go into that play? Well, how do you know? You've got to have a look around. We don't, we don't look around enough to understand what's going on with all the other players on the field. The one bit I still don't get, and sorry, I'm yes. the most obvious person here, is when are you allowed to cross over the line and when aren't you allowed to cross over the line? It's because a tough one. In terms of riding off, you can cross the line to ride No problems. Yeah, definitely can to ride them off as long as it's well and truly before the ball. Okay. So, so it's more linked to the swing motion? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So if you think that they are in the process of swinging, don't ride them off, just hook them. Okay? But likewise, if you two are riding down the field, okay, you're not just going to ride beside each other for 45 metres and then all of a sudden hook each other at the ball. The ball's down there, start jostling for position, riding each other off. You win the ride off, you can go and play the ball because you're on that side. There's no point, just, I see it a lot in the lower goal, they just ride beside each other. Hi, how are you going? Yeah. Good, yeah. How's your day? Yeah. Oh, you're looking lovely. And, oh, there we go, hook each other at the ball. It's like, what are you doing? Come on. Got to get in and jostle for the ball. People get hung up with the whole riding over the, have you done that, Brooke? Oh, it's just, I, I do it all the time. frustration is going to happen a lot. Yeah. That's okay. Because I, I love hooking and I'm still freaked out by like, jostling. Yeah, but that's okay. A good hook is very, very useful, so don't be bothered about not doing the riding off. There's a time when you need to, especially when you're on this side. Yeah. You definitely need to get in and push. You can't do any hooking when you're on that side. So. Um, the other way you can take the ball off someone is this... Uh, hey? Yeah, you can go and play the near side as well. So that's another good one. So ride off, ride off, meeting and hooking. You can also... Kath's come in here, she's quicker than me, she's gone past me, and she's taken the ball, my pen's running out. And then you can um, play the ball on your near side and take it away, or go and do a backhand. It's a very good one. The other one, which is, all comes down to umpire discretion is, I've hit the ball a bit too far, right? I've hit it up here. Ramazan can just go, bang, take the ball and go. What's that distance? I can't tell you. I can't tell you. Because it comes down to, if I'm going really slow, that could be 40 metres, no problems. Maybe less. But if I'm going quick, it'll need to be a long way. That they can get in and take it. Yeah. So, like, just on, on the previous one there, we just cut in and take the ball. What, what are the rules for that? Nothing. If you're on this side of the line, if you're on this side, you can just go, actually, you can have even come from this side, from behind, as long as you're not fouling anyone else coming down the line. 
So if there's a, someone else on the line here, don't forget the line goes for infinity. Right, so here's the line all the way back here. My other player, who's Brooke, she's back here. Okay, here's Glenn, and there's the ball there. Radio. So you can, if Brooke's not really challenging or doing anything, you can come in here and go and make a play. On the near side. On the near side. You can come up and actually you can come up and ride me off before the ball if you want as well. Yeah. But predominantly you'll be on this side of the line in this area, and then you'll come in and make a play. Yeah. Okay. 